What's going on everyone, Zach here. Coming to you with a new episode. This will, uh, got a little bit of a throwback here for you. So as I was going through my stuff, I noticed I had three packs of 2015 Don Russ. I'll get that better in the frame for you. And then I had two packs of the Sepia Refractors from, I'm not sure if this was the, oh, okay, there we go, right there. Tops Chrome, right in front of my eyes. So in the Tops Chrome, we're gonna be looking for I'm not exactly positive as to what came in here. Some nice cards to get would maybe be like an Otani or um, if there is a Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, that in there. But I'm not sure if, you know, he was in this set or not. Um, 2015, as I was looking into this, I guess maybe the best card that we could maybe hopefully find is like a, uh, it's maybe a Javier Baez, <clears throat> excuse me, Javier Baez rookie card. So we're going to get started on these, and as you see, um, I've gotten these for 50 cents a pack. Uh, I think I'd gotten them at my local card store back when I first started collecting back in 2018. And yeah, I've never opened these. Not a big fan of Panini. The, uh, the lack of the team logos kind of throws me off, but they do make some interesting products that I might get into. So... Got a uh, Jared Weaver, Francisco Rodriguez, D. Gordon, and Rogned Odor. I believe that's how it's pronounced. So, like I said, these were 50 cents a pack. So, I mean, not really complaining if we don't get anything. It would be nice to get something decent, but. I just I don't know if there's really much that came out of this series or not. So we got Junior Lake, David Ortiz, John Lester, and Hunter Pence. Now going into the last pack here. Yeah, these these cards have kind of like uh, just a very simplistic design to them. Giancarlo Stanton, and I believe that's when he played for the Marlins. Zach Wheeler, Jonathan Lucroy, and Ernie Banks. So, this, uh, this little nice nice little throwback there. Hall of Famer, 500 home run club. So, very cool. Now for the Cephia Refractors, I believe these came in, I want to say, maybe blaster boxes back in 2018. Uh, can't exactly remember. So we got Edwin Diaz, Nick Williams, and I think I've said this before, uh, Joey Gallo, that Chrome is Probably one of my favorite releases. I just really like the looks of the cards. Even these sepia refractors look really nice. You know, that kind of black and whitish look. And you still get that rainbow foil coming through. So, I'm very excited about 2020 Chrome when it comes out. I'll probably get as much of that as I can. Just because I think it's a really nice product. So, we got an Ahmed Rosario rookie card. An AJ Minter rookie card, Evan Longoria, and Justin Bauer. So nothing too crazy in there. Um, got a couple of rookies in those Sepia Fractors, so uh, yeah, or Sepia Refractors. Uh, like I said, I just I really like these cards. I could open these, you know, Topps Chrome all day, not get a single hit, and still be very happy with um, with these cards. It's very solid, nice looking. So, I hope you all enjoyed that. I want to try to bring a few more of these throwbacks. Uh, maybe get a couple packs of some older stuff. Uh, maybe every once in a while I'll get a <clears throat> box or two of some older stuff. I'll see what I can do. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, down in the comments below, let me know what your favorite set of all time has been that you've opened up. So, I mean, out of everything I've opened, I think 2018 Chrome is going to be my favorite. 
uh, maybe 2018 Stadium Club or Stadium Club in general. So let me know down in the comments. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, see y'all later.